Hello and welcome to the channel. Now on today's video I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to mount your console on your wall. In fact the hardest part is going to be finding a space for it. So when I decided I wanted to do a video on it I took my time researching various mounts from various companies and I decided to order mounts from a company called Hide It Mounts in America. So after paying for the shipping they arrived all I can say is two things. One, these things are pure quality and two, it's way easier than you'd ever imagine. So in this video I've split it up into four parts, all of which are time stamped below. We're going to mount a Switch, a PS4 Slim, a PS5 and an Xbox One X onto my walls. So jump to the one that you would like to see. I've also emailed Hide It Mounts and they supplied me with a cheeky 10% off code for you if you want to mount your console on your wall, which I'll go through in the video. Did I say how easy it is? Okay, so let's crack on, let's turn up the lights, let's put down the mounts on our wall, turn up our games room into something cool with these, these hide it mounts. Hello, welcome down onto the tech desk. And as you can see, I've got five mounts here for you. But if you go and have a look on Hide It Mounts website, which I'll link to down below, you'll see they do mounts for everything. But for here, I've got PS5, Xbox One X, PS4 Slim, and the Nintendo Switch. And finally, I've got a, um, a universal controller mount. Now this actually comes with the Xbox One X mount as well. So that's why I've got one of these sealed because I've already got one of these up on my wall. And what we're gonna do is in this part of the video, I'm just gonna run through just to show you, kind of like show off the quality of these pieces. Then I'm gonna to talk to you about what you're gonna need uh, yourself before you get that and what comes with the mounts themselves. And then after that, we'll go through, I'm gonna do one video of all of the mounts instead of making separate videos. So just go to the timestamp of the, the console that you want to show to be mounted. So let's start up then, let's have a look at these mounts themselves. The reason why I chose these mounts is because they are really, really good quality. I mean, if I'm gonna be putting a 450 pound console up on my wall, I'm not gonna want it to fall off and there's no chance with this. This is an absolute beast of a mount. It's absolutely fantastic. So this one's the same as the PS5 and they're all really good quality. So this is the Switch. This is, I mean, excellent excellent quality these are superb and you can see the holes there so i would suggest minimum of four holes for this one ps5 you're going to put in there minimum of four holes for the xbox one uh, two holes for the ps4 slim i'd say if you can go for four but i'd say two and then for the switch as well you've got space here for five holes but i'd say minimum of two uh three if you can and then with this controller here you're going to need to put both of them in so there's two holes in there Brilliant quality, and what it comes with, it comes with all the screws and it comes with the raw plugs as well. Um, what it doesn't come with are the tools. Now, here's a list of the tools that you're going to need to get. First up, you're going to need a voltage or electricity detector to make sure there's nothing behind the wall. You're gonna need a spirit level, a pencil, a drill, a 3 16th inch drill bit, and a screwdriver. And once you've got all those, once you've got your mounts from Hide It, now you're in a good position to be able to stick it up onto the wall. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put the PS5 up onto the wall. Now, the first thing you're going to do with the PS5 is take the base off. If you're going to be mounting the uh, digital-only console, keep that base because you're going to need to use that at the end. With the um, disc version, you're not going to need that base. Just put it uh, somewhere safe. So what you can do is you're going to check for electricity behind the wall using the detector. Then you're going to put the spirit level onto the mount and place it onto the wall where you'd like it to go. Then use a pencil and mark the, all the holes that you're, you're going to want to screw. Then using the 3 16 inch drill bit, take the mount off, drill all of the appropriate holes. Put the included raw plugs into the holes, hammer them in so they're nice and flush on the wall. Then place the mount back onto the wall and using the included screws, screw into the wall. With the PS5, it can go both ways. So with the PS logo facing you or facing the wall, either way, slide it on and then at the bottom here of the mount, you'll see there's a, as a hole, use the included screw to screw into that hole up into where the base was screwed into the PS5, keeping it nice and secure. And as I said, with the digital only, you're going to need the base plate just to slide in the back as you would be mounting it to keep it nice and secure. Now we're going to be mounting the Xbox One X. So what you're going to do is check the wall before electricity using the detector then put the spirit level onto the mount and place onto the wall where you'd like it to go. Using a pencil, mark well the screws 
are going to go and then take them out off the wall using the 3 16 inch drill, drill bit drill all the appropriate holes put in the included raw plugs and hammer them in making sure that they're flush now place them out back onto the wall and using the included screws screw into the wall and with the Xbox, you will be sliding this on from the left to the right until it can go no further. And the power button will be top left and all of your cables will be running out of the right side. Make sure that the Xbox logo is facing up and the right way. Now we're going to mount the PS4 Slim. So what you're going to do is you're first of all going to check the wall for electricity using the detector. Then put the spirit level onto the mount and place onto the wall where you'd like it to go. Use a pencil to mark where you want to screw, take them out off the wall, then using the 3 16 to drill bit, drill all the appropriate holes. Put in the included raw plugs into the holes and hammer them in, making sure they're flush, then place them out back into the wall and screw it in using the included screws. With this mount, down the bottom and at the top, there are some screw holes. Use the included screws to screw in, making sure that the PS4 Slim is slid into what the into the center and using these to secure the PS4 to the mount. For the Nintendo Switch dock, check the wall with the electricity meter, make sure there's no electrics behind it, then put the spirit level onto the mount and place onto the wall where you'd like it to go. Use a pencil to mark which screws you're going to do, and then take them out off the wall and using the 3 16 inch drill bit, drill all the appropriate holes. Then put the included raw plugs into the holes, hammer them in, making sure that they're flush. Place them out back onto the wall and using the included screws, screw it onto the wall. With the switch dock, you're going to put the switch dock onto the left hand side, slide it all the way till it goes no further to the right. And then all your cables will be coming from the right hand side and your USBs will be from the left. And then simply drop your switch into the dock. For the universal controller mount, Check the wall with electricity using the detector, then put the spirit level onto the mount and place onto the wall where you'd like it to go. Use a pencil to mark the two holes where you're going to screw, then take the mount off the wall. Using the 3 16 inch drill bit, drill all the appropriate holes. Put the included raw plugs into the holes, hammer in, making sure that they're flush. Place the mount back onto the wall, then use the included screws, screw into the wall. And then it's just a case of simply putting whatever controller you have onto the mount. So there we have it then, that was my look, very brief run over of how easy it is to mount your console. Like I said, there are every console you could think of that could be mounted onto the wall using Hide It, and it also does other things as well, so like Apple TV, Skyboxes, all sorts of different things. Go and have a look down the links below. And that was my brief overview on how to do it. Please do stick a thumbs up if you like the video, if it helped at all, and do think about subscribing if you're new around here. And until the next video, bye bye.